Hello and welcome to a Raggy's beer review in Raggy's chat room, as you can see behind me. Um, it's Tiny Rebel Brewery's 11th birthday. So from the Raggy's beer review channel and all the friends of the channel, a lot of Welsh people watch this channel. Um, most most prominent is Mr. Goethe, Dave Fell, but there are a hell of a lot of other Welsh people who watch the channel. And uh, sadly, you know, too many names for me to blurt out all at once. But uh, yeah, uh, massive congrats on your 11th birthday. Been down at the Lion at Baseford tonight uh, for their Tiny Rebel 11th birthday tap takeover. Six different beers on the bar. Been down there. I've reviewed them all in cask beer. Well, keg. Under... My sub one minute reviews, which I do in the pub these days. So you'll see them. I managed to get in and get out without anybody knowing I'm Raggy's Beer Reviews, which is awesome as well. And I'm in Nottingham as well, which is really weird. So there's the beer. Absolutely looks a sweet fest of a beer. It looks gorgeous. So it's um, Freak Shake Fruzy, a 7%er. What is a Freak Shake? Um, milkshake topped with cream, topped with cake, topped with sauce, with a handful of sweets thrown in for good measure. What the heck is a fruzy? A fruzy is a heavily fruited, has a super thick body and always a sweet, sharp finish why have we put these together because they said it couldn't be done so let's see uh, i'm actually saving some of this for the wife so she's up the house and uh, so yeah i've drank drank and reviewed all six tiny rebel oh god that's a it's both sour on the nose and uh, fruity so here we go here we go I'm not sure if this is the sort of beer my wife will drink to be fair I will she won't um, so yeah drank all six of the craft beers on the tap takeover at the lion the line is literally two miles that way for me uh, if if even that you know it's about 15 20 minute uh, car ride but that's because we're going through back back streets and stuff it's as quick to get into town uh, albeit town you can't park because nottingham city um, council are absolutely yeah they're great with parking cars yeah you know these days they want to charge everybody um to make money they want to charge you uh green fees and all that business yeah so as we can see it's like a dark orangey pomegranate sort of pour it really is a dark pour isn't it with a big head on there and again lots of certainly getting a sour element on the nose tarty sour there's a hint of cake sweeping in there it's going to be an interesting one it's going to be um but anyway tiny rebel Happy 11th birthday. Been watching you from a distance, obviously. And uh, Maggie's Bear Reviews, always text notice. May not be the biggest review channel, but uh, I'm certainly the one who text notice, uh, as probably as much as most others. Soft, smooth, fruity, cakey. This is as complex a beer as you're ever going to get, I think. I thought it might be a bit of a sour fest, but it's not. It's It has layers, massive layers built in. Here we go. 
Oof. Boy, now I... I've got to be honest, it's worth the two hours that I spent doing the garden next door over at Callum this week. And, uh, you know, when one hobby uh, pays for the other hobby, it's a fantastic thing, isn't it? You know, I absolutely love, I absolutely love what I do. You know, I love gardening. Uh, I love beer, beers and beer reviewing. Uh, it's so much more to me than what most people would ever dream, you know. Wow, the smoothness from that is just absolutely divine. So, pour the last bit in. There we go. And uh, I'll get a photo of that at some stage. Um, but yeah, um, Tiny Rebel, 11 years, had quite a few beers over the years, be it from supermarkets or from the likes of low cost beer on draft. Um, I've had the big, I think it was, was it a 13 or even an 18% Imperial Stout? It was a big, bloody big Imperial Stout. And uh, yeah, some amazing beers, as you can see. It's got a lovely looking dark pour to it uh, in a tiny rebel glass for those who are watching and have noticed. Uh, massive thanks to uh, Mr. Goathead Fell for that. From Wales, of course, and uh, his part of the world. And uh, you know, the friends of the channel, there's so many friends of the channel from all parts of the UK and especially Wales as well for this beer review and my heart to each and every one of you, you know. Um, here's a brewery that are doing really well. From what, you know, from what you see from my side of things, from what you, you look at on the internet, uh, through social media, uh, with what they bring out and the Christmas box. And uh, it may well be the thing this, this Christmas that I actually do um, maybe one or two brewery only um, Christmas advent calendars. Uh, I am thinking about doing it. You know, 24 days of Tiny Rebel only. Um, it's certainly an interesting um, idea to do. Uh, I did Thornbridge last year. I've done Adventure Beer. I've done Low Cost Beer. So, yeah. It's an interesting thing that, that I'm certainly looking at for the, for the Raggy's Beer Review channel. Oh my God, I'm feeling the beer now. Wow. You can feel it, in your, you know when you can feel it in your legs? And it's like, Jesus. Um, I have had six of the a, um, the 11th birthday beers only an hour or two ago. And uh, I, I really enjoyed the cookie dough and the cream triple. Um, the lemon one, limoncello, I liked that. Probably the least was the pineapple. Uh, there was also the bubblegum flavoured one and the peach. I like the peach as well, to be fair. Uh, so, they were the six, plus this in can, seven beers. I think there's nine in, is there nine in total? So they didn't have all the beers. Pity, because to be honest, I'd have had them all. But that's just the beer review we're talking, you know. It is what it is when you do beer reviews. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> On the nose, it gives you like a, a strong, sour nose. As soon as you get into the taste, it's like a smooth, easy drinking, smoothier a beer. It's totally different to the nose. So, Tiny Rebel, um, for me, I really like this. It's thick. It's it's you know it's like a smoothie. Um, 
and it's and it's like a sour beer in some aspects um and i can really feel it now i can feel it down here you know you know when you've had a beer and you can really feel it and i can bloody feel it now oh getting a bit of an arse kick in there um out of five for me a good 4.5 out of five yeah wow and uh better calm it down after this one and I'm, I'm freezing as well so the shed the shed is not warm at this time of the year but yeah out of five 4.5 and uh yeah um happy birthday tiny rebel brewery wow cheers and see you soon everyone that's if i get up the house without falling over <laughs>